Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will learn what are signals and how to use signals in SolidJS. So, we learnt about signals in Angular also. I'll provide the link in the description. Please watch that for better understanding. So, let me go into Visual Studio Code. Here, signals are mainly used for managing your state of a function. So, for example, whenever you want to manage a state, same like React state, like use state, in the same way we can use signals for managing our state inside a function. So this states will get updated and it will call our re-renderings in our application. But compared to React, these re-renders will not happen. What signals will do is, whenever we are using a signal on a particular DOM element, whenever that signal gets updated, then only that particular DOM element will be updated. So let me go here and create a sample signal. So let me use const. I'm just creating something called as count and I'm using something called as set count and let me create a signal but for creating a signal we can use something called as create signal and you can give a default value if you want otherwise it will treat it as undefined so let me give zero as a default value and to show this we have one getter and setter this is something like a getter so if you want to get some value whichever the signal is getting updated you can use this count and whenever you want to set some value for the signal you can use the second parameter called a set count so this will act like a getter this will act like a setter so now I want to create a h1 tag and I want to write a text but now I want to show some dynamic value that is signal value so if you want to show something like a dynamic value we can bind within the flower braces and we are using a getter function hence this getter function should be called so if you use only the count that will be referring to your function but whenever you are calling this then you will be getting that value let me save this let me run this npm run dev and go here just you can see count as 0 for example if I keep count as 1 then you are getting 1 as a count now this count has an getter function which will receive the value now I want to use the setter function for using this setter function let me use something called as interval that is set interval and this set interval will be used to update this count value so for example let me use 3 seconds for every 3 seconds I want to increment this count so I want to use set count and this set count will receive a value or else it will get updated with the callback function for example I will give a static value over here let me give 5 and save this go here now after 3 seconds it became 5 from 1 at that time it will not re-render whole structure instead it will only update this count value so let me reload again if you see here if you see here only that particular value has been blinked but in normal fashion or in react or in any angular applications whole structure will re-render now in this case you just concentrate on this 5 so let me reload this open this and you can see only this one will be blinked yeah you can see this only 5 has been blinked not the entire structure instead of re-rendering whole structure it re-rendered only the value wherever you are using it so let me go and create one more thing for the set count so set count will receive the value at the same time it has the second way to use it so we can use something called as a callback function so whenever the set interval get updated you can use this callback function inside this callback function you can get the value of the count and just update it with one so in this case what we can do is we can get the current value of that count and increment it with one and then that value will be updated over here let me go here just reload this now it is one and after three seconds it became two after six seconds it will become three like that every multiple of three seconds it will update the count value with one so that is how you can see here it is getting updated and only it is updating that particular node value so this is the advantage of using a signal and next thing to understand about signal is in react whatever the hooks you are using that hooks will be used only inside the function but solid has one more advantage to use this for example let me cut this and put it over here now we can use a signal out of the function 
this hook can be created out of the function and can be used in other components and we can use in the same component let me go back you can see here let me reload it one it will update to two it will update to three and four so every three seconds it is getting updated so this is one more advantage because we can share this signal with other components as well but how to share the data with one component to another component by using signals and by passing the data from one component to other component as a props will be seeing in the upcoming videos so this is the way how you can create your signals now we have created the signals manually how our snippet will help us in creating the signals so for example this is my signal I'll just go into the function and I'll use s for solid and signal sig sig for signal and hit enter it created a state and set state whatever the values you want to give you can just give over here for example in our case we are using a count and we are using a and we are using a set count let me post over here and whatever the default value you want you can put it over here and save this now the snippet ssig helps us to create a signal with a boilerplate code so not only the function component which we created in the previous video even we can create a signal by using the snippets which are provided by solidjs extension so that is how you can create your signals and utilize in a single component in the upcoming videos i'll show you how to pass the data from one component to another component by using signals and how do you can export these signals and use in your another component we'll see in the other upcoming video hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you